Koski now, perhaps fancying the long throw. Towards Andrew Marth, who gets the header on. Down goes Kutlasovsky though. And it's a counter-attack all of a sudden. Good run off the ball there by Kalagarakos. Still going forward though, Jeff Kutlasovsky passed one. And it was a timely intervention once again by Simonich. But you could argue that Despotovsky may have been better advised to lay the ball off there to Kalagarakos, not for the first time in the game. Papsansky has 20 or 30 metres to the nearest Perth player. Now they funnel back to glory, and Papsansky gets himself in trouble. He looks for a free, nothing given from the referee. And the bounce favours Kalagarakos. Side is Kalagarakos, the run at the near post, and in goes Despotovsky, he slips, and away there by Simonich. A good tackle there by Gavin Wilkinson. On the break is Despotovsky. Support arriving late from Strudwick, also forward is Kalagarakos. David now trying to play the one two. An important tackle, that shot coming in there by McVitie, was it? Not a bad effort under the circumstances. Paul Strucker, it was in fact always a danger. Markovsky doing a good job on Despotovsky on that occasion. Here's Strudwick. Despotovsky now as Naven moves through the middle. He gets the return ball. Naven lines up the shot and decided to square it instead. In the way was Savitsky. He's lifted the tempo somewhat with these bursts out of the middle of the park. As we can see, the substitute Damien Wojtek getting some advice from his coach Ian Dobson there. He'll have to wait until after this corner though. Naven plays it towards the near post. And again coming off a Knights player for another corner. Naven delivers it again towards the edge of the box. A good touch on that! set piece that works wonders for the glory. The scorer, Paul McVitie, who came off the near post with the backward header, and the Knights there caught napping really, and what a start that is for Perth. Yeah, beautiful corner in. Bit, bit of a, at that near post, it's come in with blistering pace, and goalkeeper really didn't see it. But a magnificent set move. Here we see it again coming in. A nice bend cor bending corner in right on the edge of the box. Really just floating past the goalkeeper at that near post. So Paul McVitie draws first blood for the glory. Goal coming 34 minutes into the game. Just as the Knights were preparing to make a substitution. And Damien Wojtek has come onto the pitch to replace Joe Coletta. And he finds himself in a team trailing to that McVitie goal. And the ball slipped in there towards Despotowski. He thinks about a shot, tries to place it. In the end, straight at the goalkeeper. Michael, we'll see how lethal that Perth attack is when they come, they break out of the midfield and really exposing the Knights, there's no tracking here, and Despotovsky in the box, dangerous at any time you see him there, wait his play, draw the player in, good one-two play here just receives, sets himself up, knows where the goal is gets a half a metre and gets a shot on goal probably a bit disappointed that he hit it straight at the keeper work this by Wilkinson. Good recovery though by Kutlasovsky. Plenty of turnovers. And Savitsky and Marth there almost making a mess of things. In fact, Savitsky has given it away. Kalagarakos rewarded for his perseverance. He lines up the shot and in fact it comes off his teammate Despotovsky. Still the glory though with possession in the final third. Here comes Kalagarakos once again. Pass two so easily. Great shot! Garakos wasn't hanging around to find out. He fired that shot into the top corner. 
and the Perth Glory go further in front. Yeah, overall, very, very sloppy defensive play by the Knights there, Michael. We saw the initial incident where uh, Kelly Garaka stole the ball off two players, and then he's retrieved the ball, run at the play, and look at him size this up. No one closes him down, and he has just unleashed a rocket at that near post. Did a look, it didn't even see him until he hit the net. Here we see him from behind again. Probably a little bit blinded by the player in front, but again, it was a rocket. He had no idea where it was. Kovacevic, that's overdoing it a little bit. Kudlosovsky now, whipping the ball in over the top of the Perth defence. The mistake made, and Adrian Savitsky has put the Knights back into the match. The goal coming on the end of a very good move by the Knights, but the Perth defence getting in each other's way. The substitute makes all the difference. Just seven minutes into the second half. The Knights with a sniff now as Adrian Zavinsky provides a glimmer of hope. Again, a mistake, but as you commented, Michael, a quality finisher. Look at this play here. He snapped in, and this is a difficult shot. He's had to chip it over the defender. He's virtually got no angle at all. What a magnificent finish by Adrian Zavinsky to bring the Knights back in. Again, a mistake here initially, but he, he snaps it up. Look at the tight control, still under pressure, a little chip knowing he's got to get it over the player's leg. That's a world-class finish from that angle. So all of a sudden, the glory with a test of character here. The Knights offered the lifeline they wanted. Adrian Savinsky with a goal early in the second half. Across there, hooked in by Marth. Almost on the end of it was Duzel. Wingle now with some good skill. Pass one, pass two. Why didn't he play the advantage there, the referee? In fact, the decision may go against Wingle. Was it for a handball? I think you can find Michael. That's a handball against well, Wingle, and he's going to get a yellow card for it. There it is. Confirmation of the booking for Dale Wingle. I felt he was past two players there, but the sleight of hand used by the Perth Glory defender. As Putlasowski does well. The shot there. Goal from Adrian Savinsky. What an impact he's had. He has turned this game on its head to substitute. Full credit though there to Kutlasowski, who did ever so well to cut the ball back from the byline. And the man on the spot once again, Adrian Savinsky. Two goals inside the first 15 minutes in the second half. And all of a sudden, the champions demonstrating their pedigree. Well, what a change in mentality between the two sides. Perth Glory really feeling the momentum switch. Here, good play by Kutlasowski. Gets up quickly, recovers, and what a good cutback here. Savinsky again, a good finish under pressure. 2-2. Two -two. And uh, in fact, has been caution issued by the referee as we were watching that replay. Again, you see Kudelosovsky get up quickly. It's great recovery. His speed whips across in, and Johnny on the spot. Adrian Savinsky, two goals in the first 15 minutes. So the Perth Glory have to do it all again, having led two goals to nil. They've now been pegged back by the Knights. And Despotovsky there, shouldered out of the way by Kovacevic. And the Knights players have taken exception to it. They've surrounded the referee. Tempers are fraying here. The Knights players feel there might have been an arm used by Despotovsky, perhaps. I think you'll find Michael, it might have been even the top of the head. As the two have come close together, there may have been a little bit of a head clash. Free kick goes. I take Kovacevic spreading the ball to Pontiac. Wojtek. Lovely ball in by Wojtek and right Perth now down to 10 men. And the Knights with a free kick right on the edge of the box. <laughs> Taken by Simic straight into the wall and good defence by. What can you say? They have their 15 seconds of fame. A win slipped from his grasp. You've got to give credit to the Knights for the way they've come back in the second half. They have proved they are a champion team. It's Jeff Potofsky on his own. Look at this run from Wilkinson. Still going, Wilkinson. Miller with a shot, and there it is! At the death! Buddy Miller has snatched the result for the glory. Well, you couldn't write a better script.
favourite. And take your hat off there to Gavin Wilkinson. He is the man who made it all possible. The big Kiwi with the inspirational run out of his defence. The finish was cool and clever by Scotty Miller. The goal coming two minutes into stoppages. And lo and behold, Perth have snatched a goal back. And Scott Miller is the scorer. What a finish that was. No chance for Josie to look up. And Scotty Miller's fifth goal of his career is probably the one he'll remember most. The crowd has gone berserk. 